You'll be quick, will you? I'm a runner. They may be running. No need for commentary. Just do your job. This is part of my job? It is if I say it is. Right you are. Oh, my maker. You cannot imagine how many letters I've received about the fracar at Halam Shiral. Fortunately, you tied twice as many threads as cut. Although it is yet bewildering at the center. How's it going? Do we have what we need? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? You name it, it's here or on the way. I've wrung out the slackers, given them what for. I think... I think I like this job. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. No one to watch over, Your Worship. We either have many friends, or you've made short work of enemies. Worship? You find the strangest things, Inquisitor. Interesting altogether. I am at your service. What is your evaluation of our supplies? We are groaning with resources. A reflection of your competence and inspiration. Are there others who could come to Skyhold? They are helping now. I have contacted many of our finest, and their influence is not inconsequential. They are not, shall we say, prone to take the field, but we will be well supplied. Where did you receive your training? I studied with Adan after he left the service of the King of Ferelden. Well, when the King was no longer there to serve. Our College of Associates tends to meet informally. I've since been fortunate enough to serve various heads of state. They are all as good as another, truth be told. My skills and contacts are better suited to more imminent need. I take it you're a city elf, not Dalish. It's... not a useful identifier. I am an elf. I was raised away from the Dalish. No, I do not know their customs. I'm sure that much was immediately obvious. It's of little concern. I have skill enough to be evaluated by what I can do. My associates appreciate my work. 
As you were. Of course, Inquisitor. Proper mage tower. Every castle needs one. A working nursery with not a space wasted will want for nothing.
work. Scattered quite the collection. Wonder how many are in the set. Stone Met, Inquisitor. Do you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. You finish one, and I'll write it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. Another time. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. Battling the demons of paperwork. That's a fight nobody walks away from clean. You have no idea the number of times I've almost been killed by bills of lading. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed the chosen one before. I don't need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. What am I to you, then? Oh, none of this shit makes any sense to me. Is this the end of the world? Did Andraste send you through the breach? I have no idea. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Whatever I am to Thedas, I'm still just an ordinary person. So, just a regular person, like anybody else. Right. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Something you wanted to talk about? Tell me the truth, Varric. Do you actually think I was sent by Andraste? Oh, shit. This is going to be awkward. I guess I do. Either you're guided by the hand of some higher power, or you have the worst luck. Why are those my only options? Look at all the shit that's happened to you. You were saved from the explosion that leveled a mountaintop and fell out of the Fade. You traveled through time, faced down one of the ancient magisters who started the Blights, had a mountain fall on you, and lived, single-handedly saved the Orlesian Empire. One of those things would be impossible. All of them together? That's a miracle. I'm starting to see your point. Just try to warn me before falling into the Fade again, would you? I hate that place. Something you wanted to talk about? I read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. Carry on. I can spare some time. What do you need? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Thanks, Varric. No problem. The new power you wield. I heard from Cassandra that it is the magic of the Night Enchanters. If I am not mistaken, the techniques descend from those of ancient elven mages, called arcane warriors. I wonder what they would think to see their magic used in defense of the Chantry. I doubt they were called arcane warriors in elven. The formal name for the techniques you have learned was the Durthena and Nasaline, knowledge that led to victory. Mages who eschewed physical confrontation called it Gilanim Banalven, the path that leads astray. What can you tell me about the Arcane Warriors? They were elite guardsmen, serving as bodyguards or champions for nobles, as I understand. 
Mages who focused on spirits or the Fade might sneer at their physicality, but never doubted their honor. They were the living embodiment of will made manifest, mind shaping the body into the perfect weapon. I hope the ancient elven warriors would be pleased to see their techniques survive. I hope so as well. So much knowledge has been lost. Perhaps having something they created carried forward, even in such a different form, would gratify them. Did you need anything else? I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. The Alamari crossed the Frostback Mountains to escape a beast they called the Shadow Goddess in their story. I met the spirit that they fled. She walks the Fade along the southern tundra, weeping lonely and forgotten. Great for Elden formed because a lonely spirit drove her prey away. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found an ancient dwarven tide no longer sheltered by the stone. An earthquake had exposed it all to daylight. A thousand dwarven corpses lay, the victims of a dark spawn horde, their last stand marked by one great ring of armor. In the middle, one small body, clutching tightly to a small stuffed toy. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a dwarf emerge into the light of day and shield his eyes against the sun. The first time he had seen it, the tears were streaming from his eyes. I thought them from the blazing light, until I saw the rock he held so tightly. Then he laid the rock down gently, and he left it as he walked away. We'll talk later. Goodbye. How can I help? I need to know more about Corypheus. Although you have ended the battle in Olay, it will take the country some time to recover. Corypheus faces a decision. Accelerate his plan to gain power, or abandon his dream of conquering Olay, for now. He will never abandon his dream. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Anything interesting? A letter regarding Felix, Alexius' son. He went to the Magisterium, stood on the Senate floor and told them of you. A glowing testimonial, I'm informed. No news on the reaction, but everyone back home is talking. Felix always was as good as his word. Was? He's dead. The Blight caught up with him. It's barely been any time at all. Was he so ill? Honestly, he should have died a long time ago. Alexius was using magic to keep him alive. Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tevinter could use more mages like him. Those who put the good of others above themselves. Were the two of you... Felix and I? What an odd question. No, I had no intention of abusing Alexius's hospitality by seducing his son. Not that I've been proper my whole life by any means. It wasn't like that. Even in illness, Felix was the best of us. With him around, you knew things could be better. Are you certain you're not making him into someone he wasn't? He occasionally neglected to bathe. Should I mention that in his eulogy? Probably not. He wasn't perfect, but he was a fine young man. I'll miss him. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas. I ran into Fiona. Seems you have Alexius serving the mages. There's some justice in that after what he did to them. Maybe one day he'll realize it. You said Alexius was a mentor of yours. 
he was my patron, sponsoring me to the higher levels of the Circle of Magi. In return, my successes were his. I had a lot of successes, naturally. Alexius was most pleased. He and I used to talk over Brandy about the corruption, how we could one day make real change in the Imperium. And then he... gave up. He stopped trying. Why did he give up? On a journey to Hosburg, a Darkspawn raid killed his wife and sickened his son. I remember hearing the news. He hadn't been there, you see. Alexius was convinced he could have protected them. And the guilt tore him up. I helped him with his research for a while, and then we drifted apart. That must have been difficult. Back then, I was furious. I told him to snap out of it, move on. I thought I had all the answers. Later, I regretted my hasty words. But we didn't speak again until he approached me for the Venatori. Too much pride, I suppose. Plus, I was busy drinking. One must have priorities. Was it hard being away from him? It was hard not having a patron, yes. I'm not exactly built to fit in. At any rate, he's fallen so low, I doubt he'll ever get up. Sad, really. I should go. You know where I'll be. You seem very interested in my opinions. I should go. Here I thought we were just getting to the good part. I heard of your verdict on Alexius, Inquisitor. Servitude is kinder a punishment than I would have given, but I won't complain. He may wish you'd done worse. My fellows have some interesting ideas on exactly what he can do as compensation. You were once a Grey Warden. Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally one is part of the Order until death. But long ago, I found myself stripped of what made me a warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi, the first warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. You're not still the Grand Enchanter, then? Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi. Although some still call me by it. Perhaps the Circles will one day be resurrected. If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after all this? It depends on who the next Divine is. And what she offers. We can't go back to the way things were. But endless warfare benefits no one. That is why I agreed to Justinia's conclave. There must be another solution. I trust everything as well with the mages. A few malcontents claim you've put us in a new circle. But most are relieved to be safe. I'll leave you to it. If you require any assistance. I always have time for you, my dear. What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? Our dear Lord Dorian is very sure of himself, isn't he? Let's hope he doesn't get his confidence crushed. Inquisitor, what can I do for you, darling? I'd like to know more about you, Madame Vivienne. Whatever would you like to know. Why don't you tell me more about your Duke? Bastien is... was... the leader of the Council of Heralds. The only person who could bring that rabble into line. He could charm a bird out of its feathers, and frequently did. I remember once, 
He broke up a fight between Prosper de Montfort and the Dowager with a joke and a glass of wine. Oh, Bastien. I'm sorry, my dear. I don't think I can discuss this. Greetings, Inquisitor. What work have you been doing to help us? Currently, my efforts are focused on determining what Corypheus is, and from where his power comes. The elven orb he carries is what draws my attention. I wonder if the power he used to tear open the Fade, in fact, came from the orb. Perhaps it is even the source of your anchor. If I learn of its origin, I may also learn what Corypheus now intends, as well as his weaknesses. However you can help, it's appreciated. Continue prodding at Corypheus Inquisitor. Elicit a reaction, and we may yet learn from it. I'd like to know more about you. If you have questions, then ask. I'll leave you to the garden. As you like. Greetings, Inquisitor. What work have you been doing to help us? Currently, my efforts are focused on determining what Corypheus is, and from where his power comes. The elven orb he carries is what draws my attention. I wonder if the power he used to tear open the Fade, in fact, came from the orb. Perhaps it is even the source of your anchor. If I learn of its origin, I may also learn what Corypheus now intends, as well as his weaknesses. I could use your company for my excursions outside Skyhold. I have spent my share of time wandering the wilderness in the company of others, Inquisitor. Thank you for the invitation, but for now I will restrict my efforts to researching the Arcane. Do you know anything about his dragon? It has the appearance of an archdemon. Of that, I am certain. A true archdemon, however, is supposedly the corrupted form of an old god. Has Corypheus actually dug up one of the ancient prisons? If so, why has a new blight not begun? His dragon is something else, something connected to his blighted nature as well as his magic. Beyond that, I cannot say. Is it even possible that Corypheus could succeed? The Black City exists. Wherever one goes in the Fade, it is visible in the sky. The last time Corypheus and his cohort stormed its doors, they unleashed the Blight upon the world. This time, perhaps he might indeed gain untold power, becoming something unto a god. It is also possible he could unleash something far worse than the Blights. So yes, Corypheus could succeed in his goal. If not, his attempt alone could destroy the world. Corypheus says I'm a rival. Does that mean... Could you become a god? That depends. Are you prepared to use your anchor to enter the Black City? No, never. Tell Corypheus that, and see if he believes you. We know so little about Corypheus. Continue prodding at Corypheus, Inquisitor. Elicit a reaction, and we may yet learn from it. I'll leave you to the garden. Of course. Ah, Inquisitor, you have finally come into your own. The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. I remember our talk out there before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra, or Leliana, or me for that matter. We are too political, too tied to the Chantry and all its failings. But I did not make you stand against Corypheus. I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. 
I'll do my best to earn this. You earned this in Haven. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corypheus. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? Can you tell me anything about Corypheus? I know nothing of the man personally, but the chant of light speaks of what he claims to be. No matter all their power, their triumphs, the mage lords of the winter were men and doomed to die. Then a voice whispered within their hearts, shall you surrender your power to time like the beasts of the fields? You are the lords of the earth. Go forth to claim the empty throne of heaven and be gods. That was one of the old gods speaking in their dreams? Yes. You met as I understand it. In secret, they worked magic upon magic. All their power and all their vanity they turned against the veil, until at last it gave way. That sounds like what happened with the breach. Very similar, Inquisitor. Above them, a river of light. Before them, the throne of heaven waiting. Beneath their feet, the footprints of the Maker, and all around them echoed a vast silence. But when they took a single step toward the empty throne, a great voice cried out, shaking the very foundations of heaven and earth. Corypheus said he found only chaos and corruption. The Chant of Light says that it was beautiful until the Maker himself spoke. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. <sighs> Corypheus seemed so certain that he heard nothing. He described it as dead whispers. Bitterness, perhaps? He paid a high price for his crime. Violently were they cast down, for no mortal may walk bodily in the realm of dreams, bearing the mark of their crime. Walking bodily in the realm of dreams is exactly what Corypheus said he did. But the mark, could it be related to the mark I bear? I cannot say. Perhaps Andraste saw clearly and we misinterpreted her words. It was always taught that the mark they bore was the shape of Darkspawn. Bodies so maimed and distorted that none should see them and know them for men. That is all I know of your adversary, Inquisitor. That's nothing but myth and legend. Myth and legend that matches at least some of what your adversary himself said. You want a literal truth, and I cannot fault you for it. I would as well if I faced such a foe. A century from now, your own story may be another verse. And who knows how much truth it will hold. Still, I would trust these words over any spoken by Corytheus. I hope they help you. I am at your service. What is your evaluation of our supplies? We are groaning with resources. A reflection of your competence and inspiration. As you were. Of course, Inquisitor. Well, Leliana just gave me quite the speech. What about? About us. <sighs> oh, she is impossible. 
Might we discuss this somewhere more private? Leliana said I was an innocent in love? More or less. Of all the... I'm quite capable of understanding our association. I've never thought your intentions were overly romantic, Inquisitor, I, I assure you. But we are still friends, right? Ah. Well, I'm glad we've settled this, and uh, I'll be going. Should you ever I don't think... Know. Good night, my lady. I was hoping you'd be by. We've received letters from Archon Redanus of Tevinter and King Marcus of Nevara. For both monarchs to come to us is nearly unheard of. Then the Inquisition's deeds have won their respect. They'd never have contacted us otherwise. Archon Redanus requests that the Inquisition, as a neutral party, destroy a venatory cult on the Nevaran Tevinter border. King Marcus asks the same but demands we pledge allegiance to Nevara instead of Tevinter. What course of action would you take if you were in my place? Strained as their relationship with Orle is, I would assist the Imperium. Their friendship is difficult to win, and Marcus is a fading power. Tevinter is the longer, richer game. What sort of man is the King of Nevara? At this point, elderly. Many fear his health will soon fail him. Still, he is a pentagast. Their dynasty is exceptionally strong in Nevada. Why is the ruler of Tevinter turning on the Venatori? He has little reason to love them. Archon Redanus has rightly identified Corypheus as competition. Few monarchs relish a self-styled god showing up to claim their throne. Tell me about Radanus. Like most Tevinter rulers, he's heir to an ancient bloodline, politically shrewd, and a highly skilled mage. Rumor also claims he has an incredibly soft spot for cats. Tell the Archon the Inquisition will do Tevinter the favor of wiping out the Venatori on its borders. Very good, Inquisitor. We'll inform him at once. It's good to see you. What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Let's speak later. Goodbye. There is something I wish to discuss, Inquisitor. It's good to know we're doing something worthwhile. Planning troop movements now. I'm trying to imagine what it will look like when we're done. All of this once belonged to the Tevinta Imperium. Andraste changed that, as did the Blights. 
As for what will come next, I cannot guess the Maker's plan. We make the world a better place. Because everyone agrees on what better means. I know I want a world where people trust the Chantry and that trust is respected. I want to respect tradition, but not fear change. I want to right past wrongs, but not avenge them. And I have no idea if my wanting these things makes any of them right. You don't think those things are a bit idealistic? Once I might have. Today, I live in a time when anything seems possible. Anything doesn't mean everything, or even something good. That will not stop me from trying. Tell me, what guides you? You make decisions that shake the world, yet always seem so assured. I wish I had your confidence. You almost sound like you admire me. I absolutely do. I may not always agree with your decisions, but how many could do what you have done? You were a prisoner, accused and reviled, yet you've emerged from every trial victorious. The Maker's grace does not make you immortal. You live or die by your own hand. That is worthy of admiration. I do what must be done. What other choice is there? The demands of the moment. Exactly. Think of it. Like Andraste long ago, once again the fate of Thedas will be determined by a woman. It makes me proud to know you. I hope we can call each other friends. I hope so too. We still have a long road to travel, Inquisitor. Wherever it takes us, I am glad you are here. It's good to see you. Do you have any advice for me? Watch the new recruits. Liliana says spies are inevitable, and I agree. That's enough for now. Another time, then. I wonder who Something knows like pain that. has tried the game. It's one who lacks a certain wherewithal. For he knows well a pain with paltry gain. The fool who dares to rhyme Halam Shara. It's not my style to start and simply stop. <sighs> the day finds you of well and sturdy health. Shame the alliance with the Chief's people didn't work out. He hasn't said anything, but he's feeling it. Can we talk about the Bull's charges? Certainly. What can I tell you? Have you had any other interesting jobs? Ah, there was the time with the spiders. Big old beast had taken over some Navarran lady's winter estate. With a full season to lay eggs. Hanging from the chandelier, scuttling over the tapestries, webbing up the bath. I don't really have a story about it. It's just a lot of spiders. We'll talk later. Your worship? Can we talk about the bull's charges? Certainly. What can I tell you? We'll talk later. You wanted to see me? <laughs> E poste sala talva soft. Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so. Ah. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. You knew the assassins were coming? 
Little change in the guard rotation tipped me off. Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? You go through years of Ben Hasrath training to hide facial expressions when I wasn't looking. See? Like that. If I'd warned you with the guards, the assassins would have been tipped off. Are you all right? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. What if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek. Liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. Are you interested in getting some payback? Against who? The entire Ben Hasrath? Besides, this wasn't serious. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talva Shoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. Tell Cullen and Leliana what happened. We'll tighten security. Will do, boss. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, this is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was... not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. The past isn't always pleasant. Sometimes you have to let go and move on. I can't forget what happened, but it led me here. I can make that mean something. Anyway, I meant to thank you, not trouble you further. You've enough to worry about. How are you holding up? I've met good people here, knowing they have my back. It helps. You certainly keep interesting company. I suppose I do as well. May I ask you something? Of course. The Inquisition won't last forever. What will you do when this is over? To be honest, I hadn't given it much thought until recently. I'm not used to having so many possibilities. You still regret the man you became after leaving Ferelden? After the Ferelden Circle, I thought all mages were like the ones there. 
Knight Commander Meredith's methods were harsh, but they kept people safe. You said Meredith was unstable. She was my Knight Commander. I had no reason to distrust her. She wasn't wrong about the Blood Mages in Kirkwall. Meredith encouraged my anger towards the Mages. There was only so far I would go, and she knew that too. I was her second in command. She kept decisions from me, those I would question. I believed she was serving the city. I never thought to question her, not until it was too late. You can't control everything. You stood up to her in the end. If I hadn't, would I be like her now? I wanted mages locked away as much as she did. I trusted they were treated reasonably well, but I should have done more. I should have looked into it. It's not yet enough. The Inquisition is my chance to atone. I will see it through. Do you think Templars should cease to exist? No. I may have chosen to leave that life, but I respect those who remain. Magic ungoverned could tear the world apart. It's doing so now. Templars are trained and able to confront such dangers. What would you suggest? Some call the Circle a prison that can only breed resentment. Perhaps opportunities to work outside the Circle. A mixed military service or healers clinics with Templar support. And there must be a safer way for Templars to leave. Templars can lose their memories to Lyrium. Some call it a gift to forget the failed harrowings, the demons. Some atrocities haunt me still. But to lose what good I can recall, I nearly lost my mind once. It is no gift. Do you think that could work? Would people accept it? Mages would be watched, but could pursue interests outside the circle. Neither freedom nor prison. I don't know. You've mentioned siblings. With everything that's happening, do you know if they're all right? I've received word from my eldest sister. She was always good at tracking me down. South Reach has experienced the same chaos as everywhere else. My family is fine. Pray they remain so. Your sister tracked you down. She didn't know where you were. I let her know I was in Haven. She assumed I survived. It's not the first time. I may have neglected to tell her when I was transferred to Kirkwall. Why? I wasn't in a good state. I wanted only to leave. I received an angry letter about my disappearance two years later. For all her reprimands, it was a relief to hear from someone who knew me before the Blight. That's all I wanted to know. Another time, then. Yes? Is there anything I should know? My senior officers report that the soldiers are in good spirits. Having the Imperial Army as an ally has bolstered their confidence. The Orlesian military is highly regarded. Of course, I'd wager our own recruits are equal to any Chevalier. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? I should let you get back to work. too many lives. I pray that it's over for good. What do you think of the Inquisition? I just know that you could shake this world to its foundations if you willed it. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. All's well. How are your charges? Well supplied? Oversupplied. Never thought a mountain pass could seem like luxury. Farewell. Make her be with you. Good day to you, Inquisitor.
Hmm. Somewhat off color today, Inquisitor? An excess of bile, perhaps. Might I bleed you or offer a herbal tonic? Maker, I hope it's not me. This is amazing! Convincing the Keeper took work, but I'm so glad you managed. I wondered why all Skyholds seemed suddenly brighter. What's been going on? Varric came by to talk. He told me a story about Copper Marigolds. I have to go. Inquisitor? I wanted to talk about you, if that's all right. You know, I'm from Tevinter. Wasn't a slave, but even citizens have it rough if they're not majors. I was a soldier, but women joined the ranks under a different program. When they found out I was passing, it got ugly. I ran, met ball near the border, and ended up here. Not a life I'd wish on everyone, but it'll do. Why did you decide to live as a man? I didn't decide anything. I've been like this my whole life. My parents wanted me to marry up. They tried to find me a nice merchant's son. Every day, put on a dress, look into my father's shaving mirror, and just hate myself. How did your family react when you started? My mother wanted to throw me out. She said if I didn't marry well, I was dooming the family to slavery. She was happy to take the money I set as a soldier, though. Not that it mattered in the end. My father. When I was little, he'd angle his mirror down so I could pretend to shave, just like him. He never said anything, but I think he knew. You said you left Tevinter when they discovered your secret. Women are allowed to serve, but only in certain ranks and disciplines. I was up for promotion, but the healer I'd bribed to sign off on my physical had to turn to a sick magister. When the replacement healer saw what was or wasn't in my pants, he made threats. It was slavery or death. So I knocked him out and ran. I'm surprised you escaped from the Tevinter Imperium so easily. It's not like I lived in Minrathas. I was in Trevis, not far from the Navarran border. It helped that I was being chased as a deserter, not a runaway slave. Slave hunters only get paid for what they catch. They're efficient bastards. It's against the law to pass as a man. It's a crime to lie on an Imperial application for service. It would have been a heavy fine or slavery. For ten silvers, the healer said he'd tell the Tribune I was sick in the head. Some pity for the mad little girl. That was when I hit him. I'd served for a few years. I was good at hitting. What's Tevinter like for a citizen? Someone who isn't a slave or a mage? I'm of the Separati. Citizens who aren't majors. Majors are in charge and everyone knows it. But a wealthy merchant can have an easy life. At the low end, people just try to stay out of slavery. My father was a tailor. I joined the army after the Imperial slaves drove him under. How did slaves drive your family out of business? My father made shirts, aprons, that kind of thing. Nothing fancy. One of the magisters had a pet project. To prevent the poor from dying of cold in the winter. Nice, right? He had Imperial slaves making simple peasant clothes and selling them for almost nothing. That Magister's nice idea put out slave-made clothes at prices my father couldn't match. It sounds like the Magister was doing it out of kindness. That's the worst part of Tevinter. People don't even realize they're taking away your living. That Magister wasn't a terrible person. He probably saved slaves from dying. My father sold himself into slavery. He's one of the service publicists. The Imperium owns slaves now. We'll talk later. Hey, boss. How are you? See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. If you say so. Inquisitor? Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the Chargers? A few Orlesian nobles didn't like how things ended at the Winter Palace. They're not rebelling outright, but they've brought in mercenary companies in preparation. The Chargers have a good reputation. If we go in, we can buy the companies out from underneath them. 
The nobles will lose the men they met for causing trouble, and the Inquisition gets some fresh blood. We'll talk later. they're going to kill her can only save what's important precious space to remember her smile the servants are having trouble remembering some odd events someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill it's attracting flies spiders need to eat and healers need something to treat infected wounds like spider webs. The plums are already dead. They don't mind helping. Someone stole an entire cheese wheel. Mice like cheese. Do mice also like bowls of crushed mint? That was for the cats. So the cheese lures the mice, and the mice lure the cats, and then they smell the mint. Mint makes the cats dance and play. Let's talk about something else. All right. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Sir, greetings. I was recently appointed by Sister Liliana to keep her books in order. I'm so pleased to be here, helping out in my small way. Well, I should get back to work. has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? I am able to pursue my duties with optimal efficiency, thanks to Skyhold's present state. As you were? Yes, Inquisitor. You've joined a fellowship with a distinguished history. Night enchanters have long served the divine. Alas, we are lacking one at the moment. Indeed. Sorry. It's all right. I was thinking it even as you said it. No matter, you have chosen well and are in good company. I had friends who were night enchanters who served at Justinia's side, who died with her. It's good to see new mages keeping this flame alive. Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work.
Elan's good. My best. I'm running drills. They're drinking. And pay better. Is that what they want the pay? It should be better. Getting serious about maid stuff. It's magic. Things. How about... How about not so much? Just asking for not so much magic. Great, yeah? We should drop something next time. There's you, yes. Is your network of contacts still active after what happened? After Lord Arsol and Vichel? Of course. He may have killed people, but that just means there's more who hate him. It's crap that he killed people, though. They were just trying to stand up a little. We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? Gets you paid, for one. You seem happy enough about that. I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. I get it, kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. It's you that's weird. I kind of like it. Surprise to me too, yeah? We'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? Back, yeah? Always good. Do you have any worries about how my magic is developing? <laughs> really? You have to ask what's so bad about the magic stuff. I mean, that weirdy talking about night whatevers. Night enchanter. Battle magic. Not helping. I don't understand that stuff. It's scary to anyone smart enough to think for a second. You shouldn't be scary. You're the Inquisitor. What has you so scared? You really don't know. Most people are scared. I mean, there's lots of mages here, but most never see one. Never. You're weird, and I know you, so you're not scary. But lots of people don't know you. I don't want you to be just a scary mage. Sarah, I couldn't be like that. Not and disappoint you. <laughs> Give me the shivers, you know? Yeah, you know. All right. It's all fine again. Are things playing out the way you expected? Cassandra laid it out, right? You're the big hat now. Gonna make everything the way it should be. Crane's nice, I suppose. Periphy's bit, though. Shite. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Again, with your people. Right, which ones? What about Cole? I'm not saying nothing about that. That thing is just wrong. We'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. There's you, yes? I'd like to know more about you, now that you're comfortable. I suppose. It's embarrassing enough now, may as well. I think that after our rooftop chat, I get why you're not like other elves. Don't bring this up again, yeah? You'll spoil your butter from last time. Really, let's just be us. We'll talk later. If you say so.